definitely support sustainable logging and mineral extraction and be able to partner up with the federal on the state level because that's one of the things that I think that we're missing right now. The state of Michigan has a very robust program for timber production. I think that we always have the discussion uh, lately on the federal level about timber production in the Ottawa National Forest, which is over a million acres. We have the opportunity with the amount of folks that we have with the DNR to be able to run a good program in partnership with the feds to take a look at more production in the Ottawa National Forest under the care of our DNR as far as being able to take a look at cruising that timber, producing that timber, and getting it to market. One of the things that I think that we're missing out on is the fact that once we do take our trees down here, they're exported. We've got to get to the point where we're moving on the high-end production of high-end quality goods out of that, whether it's the furniture grade lumber. And one of the most important things that I've been working with Michigan Tech on is medical grade sterile packaging that's made out of wood pulp. We got to look at the future. We got to look at things that we can produce. And that's one thing that we have an abundance of. And I think that we're right now not doing enough of it. And there's a lot more that we can, not just with our natural minerals in the ground, but with that wood production. That keeps people here, keeps them working, and it's going to build a better future where we see the people on the wall in these graduating classes getting bigger instead of smaller. Thank you. Two minutes, Mr. Martin. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, logging, the, the Western UP was built on logging and extractive uh, mining, and it, it can go that way again. Uh, we have White Pine, the mine, the copper company, uh, waiting for the price of copper to go up. Uh, we have plenty of timber that can be accessed through the federal government, working with the DNR, perhaps Michigan DNR. Uh, tourism is an important aspect of our economy. As a skier, myself, cross country and downhill, I've seen the Pier Michigan uh, have an effect on Mount Bohemia and Keweenaw County. Uh, the hill opened up in 2000, 2001, and it's gotten to the point now where it's crowded. And most of the people coming up there are from out of state. They're bringing dollars, they're spending the night, they're, they're buying gasoline, they're experiencing, experiencing the Keweenaw and the Copper Country. They're skiing at the Porkies. The Porkies is under Gugibic now, Gugibic Community College, and it's booming. And it's only going to get bigger because people, I have friends that come from Michigan, are from Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and they love to ski the Keweenaw. They love to ski the western UP uh, and Mount Bohemia, Ripley, and the Porkies. So I think. Pure Michigan can blend very well with logging and mining. 